Well, I'm told January is a popular time. To to gym. <laughs> but in addition to flexing those arm muscles, maybe your brain could use a little exercise too. Storyteller Erin Valley is here now to introduce us to a craft workshop over in Forsyth. So Erin, the owner calls it a creative gem. It is, and it's a place where you can practice your passions and be surrounded by other people who love sewing, painting, knitting, and quilt making. And whether you go for class or on your own terms, it's all about improving your creative game. Sewing, quilting, and needlework are Angie Saga's three big loves. But once craft supplies began to take over her home, Angie decided she needed her own space. It started out kind of like a joke between my husband and I. I had an ironing station, and then a table, and then a sewing table, and then another sewing table, and then I had a hutch cabinet to hide all my fabrics in so that he didn't know how bad it was getting. So she thought she'd tackle her biggest project to date. I said, I think I need to just dive in and do it. And opened a business last summer in Forsyth's Hickory Point Mall. She called it a crafting experience and encourages craft lovers like her to come exercise their artistic muscle. It's a creative gym. And like any gym, head over to whatever section best suits you and begin to work. This space offers sewing, quilting, painting, handwork and more. So I thought if we did everything, we tried to offer as many options as we could, then uh, we'd have a better chance of survival. A crafting experience is unique because workshops like it are typically specific to one craft. But Angie believes a multi-purpose space works better for small town communities. It's centralized. And if you're into any craft at all, you can pretty much find it at this one-stop shop. The idea of creativity as a gym is really a good I think concept for people to kind of grasp, make them question and wonder, is there something for me? You're welcome to bring your own supplies and get to work, but classes are also available for those wanting to learn something new. We are doing a combination of macrame and weaving. Instructor Pam Larrick is helping participants in what she calls a macro weave class. Everybody is learning the exact same knots um, at the exact same time, but no two look alike. These women are creating decorative wall pieces like this one. They can use dowel rods for a traditional look or sticks for an earthy feel. I love it. Everybody gets their own personality in their piece. And putting a bit of you into every craft or project is a large part of the joy of creating. Both Pam and Angie want visitors to feel proud of what they've made and go home hungry for more. I want them to feel interested and to have that that feeling of accomplishment once they've created something. There's just a, a nice feeling of making something with your own hands. I want them to um, enjoy being creative. I want them to feel like they can do things and try new things, and even if it doesn't look like the person next to theirs, if they're pleased with it, then they've accomplished a lot. For the full class schedule, as well as information on memberships, we'll connect you to the details on CILiving.tv.